Hi, I'm Larry the Butcher, and we're going to Better Know a Craft. Well guys, we're well into 2017. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you guys aren't letting the news and the media control how you think about things, because that sucks. So we're going to try a craft beer um, that we got mailed through the LCBO. If you're not from Ontario, the LCBO is the Liquor Control Board of Ontario. Basically, it's a uh, cartel um, that controls the sale and distribution of alcohol, with the exception of beer, in Ontario. Yeah, we, we don't have a free market economy in Ontario, and it, it, it sucks. There's things I would love to do that I can't because it's not a free market economy. Highballer pumpkin. It's not exactly pumpkin season. It's January stout season. This comes from a little brewery called the Grand River Brewing Company. Since I don't have cards anymore, I got my laptop, so... Grand River Brewing is committed to producing fresh craft brewed beers of outstanding quality for discerning beer drinkers. Our goal is to provide full flavored beers with alcohol contents less than 5% for today's population concerned about overindulgence. These beers stand out and change people's thoughts about how beers should and can taste. How long is that video? doesn't say. Maybe I'll include some of that. Um, and their beers, let's go. Highballer Pumpkin Ale. Appearance, orange color, of course. A white frothy foam topping. Aroma, think pumpkin pie, which contributes with contributions from cinnamon, allspice, nutmegs, cloves, and vanilla. Flavor, subtle pumpkin and spice flavor balanced by a pale ale malt profile and hop contributions from Amarillo and Liberty hops. Pumpkins for the highballer pumpkin ale are gro <laughs> gorn by our owner Bob Hennenberg in his garden. This classic seasonal beer makes the perfect complement to any meal and adds a festive spice to any fall occasion. Okay, the thing to realize is that this came in December. So <laughs> it is what it is and it's January. Um, I went through my brew box beers before I went through this, but this came in mid-December. It was a brought with Christmas presents for other people. Cue elevator music. I'm definitely getting nutmeg. So I don't know if this could be called a beer because it has so many additives. Um, a true beer, I, I believe we've mentioned before, has the bare minimum of, of, of ingredients. Uh, barley, hops, and water. Can't live without water. So this is very much really getting that nutmeg kind of a thing. Kind of like when I made that um, pumpkin spice sausage. I still have some left. Well, I'm getting nothing but nutmeg. Which would be an interesting name for a beer. Nothing but nutmeg. A little bit of pumpkin, mostly nutmeg. Um, it could be the age of the beer. Um, I've, uh, I've actually contacted uh, the Grand River Brewing Company because I want to find out where I can buy it, find the rest. Someone that knows me, um, more so online than in real life, is raving about Scotch Ales. So I intend to try one. I got some beers in here for Christmas that I need to go through first. Um, this isn't bad, it's, it's just you think pumpkin. I'm expecting more pumpkin than nutmeg and I'm getting more nutmeg than anything else. In fact, I think it might jack up the IBU beyond the 10. Um, it gives a, it does give a certain bitterness that um, not as bad as some of the other other beers that I've had. Um, Ransack the Universe being one of them. Um, I gotta try that one again. It's dry too. 
more nutmeg than anything else. It could be the way that just the batch blended. This this would be the perfect beer for to have with pumpkin pie, no doubt. Um, even better than that one that I tried earlier from uh, was it Cornell Lakes Brewing or or Great Lakes Brewing? Maybe it was Great Lakes Brewing. You know what? I'm gonna link all my beers. You can taste a certain, um, I wouldn't say purity, but um, there's a there's like a genuine aspect to this that, that you know that they're not pretending any of the ingredients are something that it's not. Um, ingredients: water, barley, malt, pumpkin, hops, and spices. Okay. Um, if something is below a certain percentage in any food item on the ingredients list, you can only you only need to put it down as spices. Um, like if I made a very very complex sausage, the ingredients would be pork, salt, spices, maybe pepper, and spices. You do not have to give away what spices. That gives you a little bit of. Um, ownership to the seasoning because anything can be copied especially when it comes to a recipe I'm not saying that this was what I expected it's it's okay it's it's you know I, I say it's not horrible very often but would I have this again? Yes. Would I go out, rush, and buy it myself? Probably not. But, um... But it all depends. This is Halloween party worthy, too. With the pumpkins and all that. I wonder what a habanero wheat ale would taste like. Somebody's coming. I need to run more. You know, I got a friend on Facebook who occasionally holds the world record for most marathon wins, and he has inspired me. He's he's convinced me to run marathons, and I wouldn't have run my first marathon if it wasn't for his constant encouragement on Facebook, saying that he must run more. And um, the guy's name's Chuck Charles Chuck Marathon Junkie Engel, and I really look up to this guy. Um, he probably weighs half of what I do. Um, he will probably do a marathon in what I do a half in Green Tea Ale. I really should look in the beer making courses. Niagara College might offer one. I can do that. I can do that here. Got a garage. Here's a neat fact. With nine minutes of battery life left. So this is my first Grand River Brewing Company beer. I'm going to try each one. They got like nine of them. So there's more episodes. <laughs> Guys, I of course am Larry the Butcher. I cannot thank you enough for taking a few minutes of your time to get my opinion of a beer. Don't forget to like this episode, comment down below. Would you have a pumpkin beer in January? I did. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's right under there. More beverage tasting episodes, more cooking episodes, more butchery episodes, more adventure episodes. I may change the channel to Life with Larry the Butcher. Um, share this on all your favorite social media. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. No, 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 no.